So Rich, congratulations on book number six, Sins and CEOs. And in there you outlined 10 of them. So share a few of them with us. Sure, well, the first thing is I want everybody to act like they're a CEO. Oh. So it's not just for CEOs, because I think everybody is a CEO. Even if you're not the CEO of AT&T, you're the CEO of your golf league, or you're the CEO of your family, but the most important thing is you're the CEO of your own career. Yeah. And I want to inject that. And the second thing is everybody's a sinner. So we may not be you know, committing fraud, but we may take, you know, look at the sign over the sink that says the maid has been fired yeah. and leave our coffee cups in there anyway. Mm -hmm. So I want people, it's not just for CEOs because we're all trying to do these things. Yeah, so any leader out there. Any leader, yeah. yeah and some of the sins I talk about is uh, waffling, which is not making decisions mm -hmm. when you should. You're waiting for a big decision and they're all really small decisions. Another sin I talk about is fiddling meaning you have a false sense of activity. You're busy, 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 but is anything really getting done? Maybe not so much. Yeah. Um, and another sin I talk about is, uh, you know, uh, being not a good person. Yeah. And I know you're couching your language I'm couching there my language. For, I'm couching my language. Um, but, ankle hole. Ankle yeah, hole. We'll, yeah, we'll leave yeah. It at that. Being a, a donkey. Yeah. And, you know, and everybody notices that, and the whole organization will be off kilter when you have a, a person at the helm who's just not a good guy. Yeah, and your sense was that kind of, we got asked in the audience, of all the 10, which is the one, and it's that one. That's the one, yeah. And it could be, it doesn't mean that you're, you know, awful, it just means that you're not, you know, you're rolling your eyes at ideas, or you're dismissing people when you really shouldn't, you should be listening. And I think, you know, as lots of other leadership uh, literature says, you know, you need to be genuine. Exactly.